Welcome to H2O Splash. In this video we will be changing a reverse osmosis membrane. So you need your new membrane on hand and probably won't need your filter wrench if you've done those. If not, you can do those at the same time. A little bit of, this is an old tube, but a little bit of silicone grease or you can use a food grade Crisco or, or a light oil. But you, again, you don't need very much. First thing to do is find your RO system. In this one we have made it available with long enough lines to put in our, our sink. And we'll turn off the water to the RO. And from the holding tank. That way we won't get an extra shower today. Then we can relieve our pressure by opening our RO spigot on the sink. The membrane goes into this housing here. Of course you have one inlet and two outlets, the pure water and the drain water. And to replace the RO membrane, we've got to remove the line coming in to feed the RO system, or feed the RO membrane. And then this cap will unscrew from the housing. Some of them are pretty tight especially if they've been on for a while. You may need a large channel lock or like an oil filter wrench that's adjustable and somebody else to hold the other end possibly. Set the cap aside and inside we have the RO membrane. <coughs> there again it uh, most likely if a membrane has been in a housing for any length of time it takes a pliers or a channel lock to get those pulled out. But hopefully yeah this one's this one's been lubed and uh, not in very long so it's easy to get out. Slide the old membrane out. Make sure that you have a, a matching membrane before you open the package. Make sure it's the right length and uh, seal areas are the same and then the other thing that's critical unless you're uh, knowingly changing your gallons per day you want to match your volume this particular one is a 18 12 50 gallon per day and this one in the bag is an 18 12 80 but uh, if you are changing membrane production rates you also want to make sure you get a uh, drain flow restrictor which is this particular one is in the elbow of the drain outlet <coughs> but that would match or uh, go along with the, the particular membrane that you have. Anyway you can open the, the package and we'll leave this one closed for now but uh, once you get your membrane out you make sure that your inside o-ring seals are lubed there again you can use a food grade grease or a silicone uh, lubricant this doesn't take much just a little bit and a little bit on here and you're ready to put it back sometimes if you want to you can just take a, a sharpie marker and mark on the outside of this membrane when you installed it or you can keep a log somewhere else. Slide that into the filter membrane housing. Find the open hole in the bottom and slide it in until it stops. That's about all there is to it. Then you want to make sure that this seal here has a good little bit of lube on it. Replace your cap. Replace your feed line and you are ready to go. Now on uh, starting up a unit with a replaced membrane we recommend running it uh, probably for 10 to 15 minutes just letting it dribble out the hose. So we'll go ahead and first thing we do again after replacement is turn on the water And you can just leave the holding tank shut off for now. 
It'll take a few minutes or so to, to uh, get all the water through the new membrane and start producing water through the auto shutoff and unto the outlet line. And look at, like I said, you can let that run for approximately uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to flush that membrane out. And we also recommend with a new membrane, probably just need to empty your holding tank and let it fill up at least one time before you uh, use the water. Let it fill up one time and then open your RO spigot and flush that tank of water to the dr just down the drain. Let it go into the sink and down the drain. From then on you should be able to use your water.